Welcome to the Freedom Property Podcast, the modern real estate brand empowering excellence. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back, the Freedom Property Podcast show. Today, we have got Jackson Kennedy in the building. That's me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Jackson. Yeah, how's it going? Very well, mate. Very well. Good so you got your, your coffee there? Yep. Up the road. I'm on the tees this morning. Why is that? Why the change up? You know what um, tea rich people drink? What tea? Proper tea. Is, that's proper tea, is it? Proper tea, mate. Proper tea. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the property business that we are in. So that's my joke of the day. Well, that went I'll straight over my head. That's why, that's, why I got, <laughs> that's why I got the tea this morning, just so I could say that one joke. So hopefully you like that one. What's going on, bro? Oh, not too much. Just working, pretty much. Yeah. yeah just working. You're working hard, brother. You're working hard. That's it. Got to get something done. That's it. Absolutely. So, you know, you, you haven't been here too long. This is your first ever year in real estate. So yeah, yeah. yeah tell us a bit about yourself. Um, look, had a bit of a sales background myself. Um, worked here, there and everywhere, really. Um, parents always worked in sales as well. So I think that kind of has got passed on. I was going to do a trade, but definitely not built for that. What type of sales were they in? Um, they were in like, my dad was sales manager for Coat for Queensland. Yeah. Um, sorry, I think it was Queensland. He was for Schweppes in Queensland as well. Nice. Mum um, was Streets Ice Cream. Yeah. So that kind of got my foot in the door. I started out as like an on-the-road sales rep for Streets Ice Cream. Nice. So I was driving around. Ice cream salesman, eh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so and, um, some Ben and Jerry's. And Were you in the van? No, I wasn't in the van. No, not in the van. <laughs> I was um, going to servos and yeah. just pretty much filling them up with ice cream. Mate, I have got the best taste in ice cream you're ever going to taste. You need to, you need to try this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, ben and Jerry's never went that well for me though. Don't know why. Everything else was good. But um, did that for a little while and then um, – Got offered a job in a call center and my parents were like, no, don't do it. It's the worst thing you'll ever do. You'll hate it. Took it anyway. Ended up Are you talking about here? The call no, center here? no, no, yeah. no. But that's how I like calling. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So started started just working there pretty much. A, a mate referred me on and since then just really like calling pretty much all the time. So let's slow down there. Let's talk about this call center stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, what were you selling? Uh, Google Advertising. Google Advertising. Yeah. So we were a management company, yeah. um, one of the biggest ones in Australia. Yeah. Um, and we just used to sell the management. So we would run the Google ads for companies mm. across Australia. Yeah, nice. So um, that was cold prospecting? Yeah, cold prospecting. So yeah, you're ringing what, random people or was it like a targeted sort of people you were chasing or businesses? Or? Random businesses that yeah. had Google ads already. Yeah. We would call them, run them through a bit of an audit on their campaign and yeah. then tell them how we could you yeah. know, fix it up for them and go from there. Jackson Turnbull, have you got five minutes that I could pick your brain on something? <laughs> Pretty much like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah a little a free uh, health check, we used to call it. Yeah. Would you, um, could you handle more business? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was always at the start of the call, kind of figuring out their goals, where they wanted to go, what they wanted to do. Yeah. So um, we, we'd go through that part of the call. That would take majority, you know, 20, 30 minutes of the call. Yeah. We'd run through the campaign for, you know, 15 minutes and then mm. sign them up after that. Yeah, nice, nice. So you got good at being on the phone, asking good questions and closing. 100%, yeah. You were born for real estate. That's it. Um, it's a lot different though. I mean, deals take a little bit longer in this industry. Absolutely. We could have something done in, in half an hour with yeah. that one. But <laughs> in this, it takes a little bit longer, but that's right. Absolutely, you know, but yeah, the close is, is something that takes a very long time to master in real mm. estate. So have maybe having a bit more of a closing mentality leading into real estate, that's that's awesome. I feel like it, it definitely helped. Uh, a lot of the training that I got from there has helped me get into this role because I'm not afraid to pick up the phone. Absolutely. I'm, I'm pretty good with rejection, pretty used yeah. to that by now. And um, yeah, I just know a bit about doing it. Yeah, you're a weapon on the phone, absolute weapon on the phone. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, when I when I first met you, I was I was like, uh, we we sat down and had a chat, and um, and you're like, oh yeah yeah, I'm gonna do this, and I was like, this guy's confident, he's confident, but I was like, <laughs> he's gonna be good. And then when you when you started here, like you were just a 
Like, and you still are. Like you're just aggressive on the phone. You just bop, 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 pick it up, mm. put it down, pick it up, put it down. You know, that's a good tip for anybody that's starting their business right now. It's like fill your database, you know, and that's what you have to do at the start, isn't it? You 100%. know, you have to ring all these people in your local area and get them into your database. And mm. you're doing that very, very well at the moment. So it's pretty much, yeah, majority of my day at this point. Absolutely. Yeah. And you are good on the phone. That's what I like about you. It's, um, I know you're going to be good at this job because um psychologically you get it you get what you know you need to say you get what you need to do you mm. get you understand what people are thinking you know this is um and this is a hard thing to teach yeah i think i think a lot of that is credited to what i did before as well yeah just because uh, all the training was about that you know i never got to meet these people face to face yeah okay it was yeah cold calling them getting it done there and then yeah. that's top, kind of it yeah so i had to learn a lot about how to speak well on a phone the psychology behind it as well. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously your parents being in sales too, that's probably, yeah, rubbed off on you as well. I dare say a little bit it has. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Obviously sales is awesome. Like sales is the business, I reckon, it's spe- especially when you've got a great product. Yeah, 100%. You know? Like real estate isn't really selling the house. Are you finding that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I find that, you know, it's more just about making sure people are liking you throughout the process and and – I guess kind of when it comes to the negotiation of the sale, the person's already sold on the home already. Yeah. They already want it. That's it. The seller already knows that they want to sell the house. So yep. it's about just kind of finding that happy medium and getting them to a good position where, you know, the deal is actually going to get done. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Obviously, it's good to be passionate and excited about the property and, and know things about the property. But mm-hmm. like you say, you can't stop someone from buying a house if they want it, but you can exactly certainly right. put them off. Um, <laughs> and that's that's realistically how, what the difference is in sales, you know, like in real estate, because yeah, you don't have to be overly salesy. Mm. You just have to be switched on, motivating, and yeah. keep doing what you're doing, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to watch your business grow. I'm um, I'm quietly confident that you're going to be very, very good at this job. Yeah, I'm keen to see you grow as well, hopefully soon. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's talk about that then. So, like, what is the plan? What, do you want to, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, You've only been here, what, three, four months? Yeah, no. So I haven't been here too long. Now that I've got some money coming in, my plan is just to market myself as hard as I can. Probably got that from the the old job as well, knowing how important it is. Yep. So I um, want to market myself just everywhere yep. as much as I can, put pretty much a majority of any money I get into that Absolutely. for the start. Yep. Kind of like, um, you know, you got to build the house before you live in it. Definitely. So I, I want to get all the foundations in place so that when I am living in it, yep. it's a lot easier for myself. I'm Absolutely. already on track to do good things with it all. Get into the conversation, brother. Get into the conversation, you know. You have to get on the shopping list. And um, at the start, you know, you have to either work extremely hard or spend a lot of money to get on that that list. So Plans if you do, do both, both. <laughs> yeah. If you do both, like, yeah, you can fast track that, this thing massively, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, like if you don't have the money yet, agents, then it works extremely hard. Pick up the phone. Just don't stop. Just come in every day and, and just keep grinding. Just keep going. And then when you do make some sales, which is exactly what you've done now. Yep. You know, you've been here a few months. You've already sold a property for one million nine hundred and fifty-five thousand <laughs> under the hammer at auction last week. That one. was unbelievable. Congratulations! Thank you. First ever sale, <laughs> uh, and then you've sold a couple of more since then. So, mm-hmm. yeah, you're flying. You're yeah. flying. This is a, this is a great start for you. So, yeah, and now it's about investing wisely. Hundred percent. I want to keep that rolling. I don't want to slow down. Kind of go back to square one. That's yeah. definitely not my goal. So yeah, yeah. So what? So let's talk about the marketing then. So what are you going to do? Um, I'm probably going to book in. You know, ten consecutive shoots with Eamon and the and the guys in here, yep. just so that I've got tons of content to put out there. Absolutely. Um, I want to do a lot on social media. I'll yep. probably probably do a bit on Google Ads as well. Definitely. Uh, just because how much you can track with it all. Yep. You know, I can see where people are clicking, how long they're looking at things for, and nice. it makes it really easy to know who's actually interested in yep. having a chat with you. Definitely. Um, obviously, you're going to do a, a lot of the old school stuff too, like print media, yep. all of that. Yeah. Um, but I, I want to make sure that when I do it, it's consistent. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, I do it for a month, it goes away for a month. Yeah, it's back again. It, it, it needs to be the entire time. Absolutely, yeah. What you, what you're doing there is you're branding yourself, like yep. through socials. Um, you know, explaining your message to the public, um, letting everybody know who you are as a person and what you love about your area, what you love about your clients, what you love about, um, you know, the the process and mm-hmm. um, the properties that you're selling. 
so you're doing that over here, but <clears throat> this is like um, your your socials right here, but you're still going to need to get people to want to click on you and see you. 100%, yeah. So it's like, yeah, when you're there, it does need to look good, so you need to spend some money and some time on that. Yeah. It's just about how you're going to get these people there to start following you. Well, it's got to be something engaging as well, something yeah. that they're actually going to watch. Yeah. Um, you don't want something that click on for two seconds and then they're off the video type of thing. You want something yeah. that they're going to watch the entire way through. Yeah. To um, provide that value, you know? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So keep focusing on that. Um, what about um, your patch, your area? What are you thinking? <clears throat> um, look, I just want to pretty much dominate in it, <laughs> to, to tell the truth. Yeah. Um, just got to, I've pretty much got everyone in my in my database at the moment. So it's just about providing value to those guys, whether they're looking to sell or not. Yeah, and I found a really good way that I've been doing that recently is just giving them little updates, what's been selling, what's happening in the market. Yeah, that type of thing. Awesome. Yeah, you can get um, if you pick a thousand homes, mm -hmm. um, you can get um, a thousand DLs done up. Yeah, um, and make them really classy. So mm -hmm. yeah, everything goes out with you is professional. It looks good. Mm. It looks the business from day one. <clears throat> and um, this thousand homes um, for the next twenty weeks, um, you can get a thousand of these DLs back to back mm -hmm. with your face on one side, and then your message on the other. Mm -hmm. You know whether that's a soul, whether that's a listing, whether that's a community update, whether it's a local giveaway, whatever it is. Yeah, know? yeah. And um, you can get a thousand of these done up for about two hundred and fifty bucks, and it mm -hmm. might cost you fifty bucks to get them delivered. Yeah. So you're talking three hundred dollars. So yeah. um, you could get um, twenty weeks worth for six thousand dollars delivered. Not so there's all, there's 20 touch points every so every week for 20 weeks mm. in a thousand letterboxes. So everybody in your thousand homes is you know, they just getting hit by you. There's like oh, it's this guy again, this guy again, this guy again. Whilst this is happening, you do laps on this on these people. Yeah, go and introduce myself, say hello, knock on the door. When you're not knocking on the door, you're calling them. Mm -hmm. You're getting all the data. You're getting their email address. Mm -hmm. I want to keep you in the loop with the market. Um, what I'm doing for a, a lot of your neighbors currently is um, uh, once a month I send an email. On that email, it's got every single sale that happens in in the area. A lot of your neighbors are receiving it, and I'd like you to receive it too. What's your email address? Yeah. Get their email address. Yeah. Get them into your system. And obviously, if they're a good system like ours, you can then send them that email. You can then see who's clicking on the email, and yeah. then you can target those people a little bit more. Exactly. As that's as like as I said with even social media, you want yeah. to make sure that you can tell yeah. who's clicking on what, who's looking at what. That's it. So that you know which people are actually going to be keen on having a chat. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So that's for your personal branding. I think mm -hmm. that's perfect. You know, like dominate the letterbox, mm -hmm. dominate the socials. Yeah. There, stay there for now, and then as you grow and get more listings and more income, that this is the most cost-effective thing there. Mm -hmm. um, and then as you grow your business, um, that's when we start to ramp things up. And yeah. You start to do like you know all these lead generator campaigns and these big giveaways and the yeah, big billboards yeah. and get every bus stop. And then you start to like really take your take area. over. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, it's exciting. Now that's definitely the plan. And then obviously by that point as well, hopefully I'll have a few people helping me out. Yeah. On the way and Absolutely. um and then yeah. you invest in people yeah yeah you're investing in your name right now and then you invest in people and mm -hmm. then you take this thing to the next level it's plan that's fine. oh so good <laughs> i love this you know like no, it should be good the people that um <clears throat> over the last couple of years that have taken everything that i've said and like run with this mm -hmm. and done this exactly like your jacobs who's been on the show yeah. northern territory two years in real estate absolutely killing it mm -hmm. um we've got like a young ollie foreign here who's been in real estate for what two and a half years 25 years old yeah absolutely killing it you know like we talk about massive action and i say you know you don't need to just do do something you need mm. to take massive action right now um mm. ollie instead of getting one bus stop in his area he got five i know i drive past him pretty much every day <laughs> like that is massive action so well done ollie brother that's so good you know but these are the things these mm. are the things that make you just stand out bang then you're investing in your name right now you yeah, cannot yeah. get that wrong because you're a good person you're going to work hard mm. you know you're going to do the right thing by these people when they when they touch you know base with you and yeah it's just about you investing in your name right now. Yeah, hundred percent. Get Ooh. myself out there a little bit more so that people think of me. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Once you once you meet Jackson, you'll understand. You know, he gets it. He gets it. So I'm excited to watch this happen. No, so why real estate then? Is it you know like did you naturally feel like this was where you would end up, or was it like a yeah. random chance? Or no. So. As soon as I left school, um, this is before even the streets ice cream type of thing. I um, 
was looking around for a job. I, I know another agent in the area really, really well through just family. And, um, you know, he was just like, oh, the best thing I, I could recommend doing is just go and hand out resumes and see what type of job, even if it's an admin job or work experience or something like that, go yeah. and try and get it. And um, I went out, handed my resume to pretty much everyone. I had a few interviews, didn't get anything from it. Yeah. So um, I was working at Woolies at the time as well. So I kept doing that. And then I, yeah, went and did all those other jobs. And then I met Randall and he's just like, if you've always wanted to do it, why, why don't you do it? And yeah. I thought, yeah, look, now's the best time to do it. Absolutely. No point trying it when I'm I'm 40. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I may as well get into it young and definitely and continue it throughout my life. Definitely. What are you waiting for, young people? <laughs> you know, what are you waiting for? You know, like stop sitting there thinking I'm going to do this. You know, give us a call. We can make this happen. Like let's fast track this thing. Let's go. 100%. Let's, let's do this. But if you, even if you're older too, it's all good. We can, we can figure this out. So, mm. yeah, let's get involved. Let's make it happen. So, oh, I'm so excited for you, bro. This it was, is, um, yeah, it was pretty funny. I remember because you passed me on your number yeah. and I gave you a call. And when I first came in for that meeting, I like came in and yeah, you said before about it, but uh, I came in like stressing out because I literally got <laughs> off my last sales call in the car on the way here from my other job yeah. and I didn't have like much with me at all, but we sat down you explained the process and it just made a ton of sense. So awesome. there awesome. was no reason to go yeah. anywhere else type of thing. No, this is where you want to be, brother. This is where you want to be. It's, um, yeah, it's exciting for you. And what, like what, what's, what are you finding hard about a real estate right now? Um, what's a challenge that you're facing in this first year? In real estate? I think I think it's just people not knowing me as much. Yeah. Um, and that's where I see the marketing side coming in is really going to help me. Definitely. Because, yeah, look, I, I haven't been doing it for long, so I think I need to be more known. People need to know who I am, see yeah. me around, that type of thing, and just build that trust with myself. Because yep. the people that I'm speaking with, yep. they like me. Yep. We're having good conversations. It's yep. working well. Yeah. But the people I'm not, yep. probably don't know who I am. Absolutely. So I've got to get those people not me as well. Yeah, definitely, mate. Definitely. Absolutely. And then obviously when you meet them, you, you're running through this bulletproof process that we've got. Pretty much. And just, Pretty yeah, much. just have faith in the plan and it will all just work out. That's it. Yeah, it's exciting. What that's you, what's been working for me so far with the yeah. people I have been meeting. So, yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah, you met them. You've managed them well as buyers. You've picked up listings. You know, our process, um, this works, you know, and I'm looking forward to putting this process in play with not just people like yourself, but mm -hmm. like for us at Freedom, like I've got <clears throat> some people starting soon in other areas and I like they've been working in other brands and then they've come here. Yeah. It's like it's like a Gemma, for instance, like she was working at a, at a huge brand, mm -hmm. like one of the biggest brands in Australia and um, couldn't get any listings. Yeah. She's got five this week. Yeah, no. She's been here a month. I know it's she crazy. Got five this week. Yeah. You know, like, and this, she's loving it too. Yeah, absolutely. This system works. Like, this process works, you know, like, and it's just about having faith in the plan, you know, mm -hmm. and just focus on the work, you know, which I know you're going to do. Yeah, 100%. This I think it. it's also the culture of being in here as well, though. You yeah. know, it, it's from what I've heard anyway, it's very different. Um, it's, it's yeah. like it's, working alongside each other yeah. on literally anything and everything. You know, I can turn to anyone in the office and ask for help. That's it. And Gemma's been doing the same thing and it's paying off type of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I want to create this environment um, in a few different places. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, obviously we just need the leaders now to do this, you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's probably people watching this show and maybe you're at a brand right now and, um, you know, it's going well. But, you know, you want to create something bigger. You want a culture. You want to bring all these young people through and you want to help them and you want to get a little bit more than just selling property, you know. And these are the types of people I want to look for now and help them build these super offices mm -hmm. um, with us. All that's, around the place. Yeah, that's the that's the dream. So, yeah. Take over. Yeah, it's definitely going to come. We just need the right people now. 100%. Um, <clears throat> and then what, like, so with the with the freedom, mm -hmm. while we're there, um, like, what are, you, what are you enjoying about the system right now? What are you enjoying about the process and... Well, as uh, I've never been anywhere else, yeah. so this is all I know from the get-go. But from everyone that I've been speaking to, you know, on the phone, I see it as normal service now. Yeah. But it's clearly not normal service because um, I'm getting texts every day just talking about, you know, thank you for sending these through. Thank yep. you for doing this, 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 this. Yep. And it's all things that I, because this is the only way I know, yeah. I'm thinking, okay, cool. Yeah. But- <laughs> Not knowing that other people don't do it, it's like, yeah, okay, what are you doing? I had this guy come to um, 
uh, one of my open homes on the weekend. And um, he's been looking for ages, this guy. He's like, mm -hmm. been I'm just like, hurry up and buy a house with you, mate, for God's sake. <laughs> and, um, and he said, Josh, I just wanted to um, tell you something, you know, like he's obviously wanted to say this. Mm -hmm. And he said, he goes, you know how long I've been looking for houses, don't you? And he goes, um, he goes I've dealt with every, everyone. I've, I've dealt <laughs> with them all in the area. And he goes, the process that you guys have put in play, um, he goes, it's, He's just bulletproof. He goes, mm. He goes. I know exactly what happens when um, I inquire on a property. Um, if I go to any of the open homes, the, the follow-up that I get, it's like clockwork. He goes, mm. it's funny because we're like, oh, here comes the freedom guy or freedom lady. He said, I've had this person call me from your team, this one, this one, this one, this one, um, and because they've gone to different open homes. But not just my team, but every other agent mm. is handling him the same way. And he's just like, he was stoked. Yeah. Like he was so stoked. 100%. It was funny because uh, they've got the new guy, Josh, here as well. And he was with me at the time because I've been telling him like this works. And he was just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so good. So good. It's so. it's good to hear it though. 100%. Yeah. Know that it actually is working type Absolutely. of thing. Um, yeah. No, I really like that part of it all. Yeah. So um, about you, but ben, let's get back to you. So, mm -hmm. you know, like your your background, your family, you know, like your, um, you know, your hobbies, your, all this type of stuff. T tell us more, like, you know, like what do you, you know, what's, what makes you, you? Yeah. So, well, as far as family goes, uh, pretty high achieving family. Um, dad used to play in the NBL, um, for the Canberra Cannons wow. back in the day. So he was pretty good. At, he must pretty be good bigger than you. Yeah. Whole family is, <laughs> I got my mum's genes, yeah. but, um, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, they're, um, very high achieving family, brother, professional AFL player, just yeah, retired. Well. So I was over in Perth the other week watching him retire, which is good. Yeah, true. Um, but yeah, it kind of set a, a high standard for myself being pretty young. Yeah. Um, I used to skateboard a lot as a kid. Yeah. Started doing like downhill skating when I was younger. I used to go to races and stuff like that. Um, then I just got into like, you know, skate park and street skating. Yeah. Um, yeah, went pretty, pretty good at that as well. And true. then- um, yeah, kind of left school, did it for a little bit after that, not too long, just kept injuring myself. So mm. thought I may as well put, put a bit more time and effort into improving skills that, that are going to pay off. Yeah. So that's, <clears throat> that's an interesting thing to analyze this, you know, it's like, um, you know, your family's successful, you're successful, you know, it's a, it's a trait, you mm. know, what is that? Like, what is that? What do you, what do you think? Is it like an obsession? Is it like a need? Is it like a, you know, is it got it's a, a bit of a point? Is it like, what is it? Oh, I think it, I think it comes from like a bit of an, like a passion that yeah. comes out as obsession as well. Definitely. Like, um, brother threw himself into footy. Absolutely yeah. loved it. Dad, same with basketball. Yeah. Um, me, I'm doing that with this now. Yeah. So I think it just becomes like once I'm latched onto something. Yeah. I just pretty much takes over. I'm exactly the same. Yeah. I'm exactly the same. I absolutely love it. Yeah. And like such a great thing to attach yourself to real estate because mm. there is no ceiling here. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, how hard do you want to go? Yeah, pretty much. You know, how much can you take on? You know, it's, um, yeah, this is a good place to get obsessed. Yeah. And like, I, I always heard from people saying like, oh, it's a lifestyle type of thing as well. Coming from like jobs in the past, I was like, oh yeah, whatever. Mm. Probably not. But um, getting into it, it's like, it, it is a bit of a lifestyle, but it's a good lifestyle yeah. alongside that because if you enjoy the work that comes with it, yeah, then you're enjoying the whole time. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, again, audience, you know, if this is the type of person you are, you know, you get obsessed with things. You want to, you want to prove a point, you know, you, you just want to just keep going and you throw yourself and you're a bit of an addict when it comes to, you know, achieving things like this is the industry for you. Absolutely. Definitely. Um, to finish off, mate, um, if there's someone watching this right now, say they're, mm -hmm. you know, someone similar to you working at a call center right now, you know, or, you know, working at Woolies, you know, like give them some advice if they want to get into real estate. Because this is, this is the show is designed for people that are interested in real estate, maybe want yeah. to get into real estate. So 100%. I think um, if you guys are in a call center or, you know, you just have an interest in it in general, you've already taken the first step. So I think biggest thing for you is just get in and give it a crack. Give us a call or... Yeah, get it going from there because there's no point doing it in 10 years, as I said. It's yeah. going to make no difference besides you'll be behind. May as well start it now. There you go. You heard it from the man himself, <laughs> Jackson Kennedy. Remember the name. Thanks That's for coming it. in, brother. No worries. Thank you.